God be with you. And with you. Let's light our candles before we start. I just need to do three of them, don't I? In the name of the Father. Oh, I hold that one else. And the Son. Thank you. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So today uh, we're going to be thinking about Palm Sunday, which is coming up next Sunday. It's an important step on the way to Easter. And to do that, we're going to be making something today. We're going to be making some palm branches and some um, palm crosses as well, which you might have heard of. So to be able to do this, you're going to need some newspaper. Some other paper. Now, if you have any green paper, that would be fantastic, but we've just got sort of normal plain paper. And if you're going to use plain paper, you'll also want some pens, especially green pens would be great. Some scissors. Do please check with an adult before you get any scissors and check that they're appropriate for you. Some sellotape. And that's all you need. So we'll see you back here in a minute. Thank you. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our hands to make leaves. So you're going to draw around your hand. Make sure you fit as many of these on the page as you can. So don't do it right in the middle. So you can only fit one on each page. And you're going to do this four or five times to make several lovely palm leaves. Make sure you give it a little bit of length on the bottom here as well, because this is what we're going to use to stick it down. So now we're going to cut out our palm leaves and do this nice and carefully, no rush. You can pause the video while you're doing it. So when you cut out all your hands, all your leaves, what you're going to do is, you don't really need to do this if you've um, done them on green paper, but if you've done them on plain paper like ours, you want to make them a little bit more leaf-like. So you can colour them in completely green or you could give them veins like I'm doing on this and you'll want to do them on both sides because they're going to be seen on both sides. Once you've finished colouring in then you need two pieces of paper, two pieces of newspaper rather and what you're going to do is you're going to roll them up just like this and when you've rolled it up you can sellotape it together. So it looks like this. When you've sellotaped it, as this is your palm branch, you're going to stick on all your different palm leaves like this. And then we'll show you what they look like when they're finished in a minute. And here we have our palm branches. Well done. Okay, so if that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, we're going to try and do something a bit trickier. Now this that I've got here is what's called a palm cross. It's actually made out of a real palm leaf and we're going to make ours out of strips of paper. Um, if you happen to have a palm at home, you could make it out of a real palm leaf. So this is how you make a palm cross. Okay, so what you're going to do to start with is you're going to cut out two strips from A4 pieces of paper about oh, a centimetre, centimetre and a half wide. If you can get them as straight as you possibly can and you're going to sellotape those together, which I've already done here. So we've got a nice long strip of paper which gives us plenty to play with. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make that into a right angle like this. Okay, so you're going to cross it over. Push it down to make sure it's nice and firm. And then you're going to wrap it round. So it's going to go wrap and you're going to wrap it round again. So you see how you've got this nice little, little square now in the centre. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing with the other strip. So it's going to go across like that. And now what you'll find in the centre here is you should have... 
a little loop that you can poke it through. There we go. So poke it through and that's going to make it nice and solid. It won't come apart now, you see. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the rest of the cross. So again, you're going to find where there's a little loop inside. I'm going to tuck it through. Sometimes it can be a little bit tight here. And what you might do, and what I'm going to do, is make it a little bit more branch-like, and this will help you. It won't go through easily. Make it a nice point, and this will help a lot. There it goes, look. And pull that through. Put it about halfway, and then you're going to tuck it back in like that. You see how we've made a cross. Yeah, tuck that little bit over there. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. We should find a little loop we can tuck it through. There we go, that one fitted quite nicely. I didn't need to make that into a point. Push it right down. There you go. Ta da! We've got a palm cross. That's so good! So, the reason we've been making our palm crosses and our palm branches today is because we're approaching a really important day in the church's year, and that's Palm Sunday, which is the, really the beginning of the exciting events of the Easter week. So, we're going to read the Palm Sunday service now before we go any further. This is called the Great Parade. Let's go to Jerusalem, said Jesus to his friends. I have something important to do there. So they went. And when they could just see the city from a nearby hillside, Jesus said, let's have a parade. Jesus' friends were surprised. A parade? They wondered. Why a parade? But no one said anything, because Jesus was already busy giving instructions. I want two of you to borrow a donkey, he said. Tell the owner I need it. He'll understand. When the two friends returned with the donkey, Jesus hopped on its back, gently nudged its sides and started down the hill. His friends followed close behind. Hooray for Jesus, they shouted. Jesus is king. Down, down, down they rode towards the city gate and the closer they got, the more people joined them. It's Jesus the teacher, someone called. It's Jesus the healer, called someone else. Three cheers for Jesus, called one and all. Soon there were people everywhere, marching along with the parade and shouting from the roadside. Some took off their coats and laid them in front of the donkey. Others cut palm branches from the trees and waved them about. There were hundreds, maybe thousands, clapping and dancing and shouting their way through the city gates. Everyone was happy. Well, almost everyone. Some of the religious leaders didn't like Jesus. They were jealous because the ordinary people were so fond of him. And when they saw the parade, they frowned. Wait just a minute, they called. You can't have a parade here. Tell your friends to be quiet, Jesus. But Jesus just laughed. Tell them to be quiet. Impossible. Then he turned around to look at the crowd. Can't you see, he said, there's so much happiness here that even if I could make the people quiet, the stones in the street would jump up and shout for joy. Ooh, happy stones. <laughs> So this great parade is at the beginning of the last week in Jesus' life, the week that we're going to remember over the Easter holidays. And I'm just going to say a prayer now, and if you'd like it to be your prayer, you can say Amen at the end. Dear Jesus, thank you for times to celebrate. Thank you for the people who recognised how good you were and were so happy to see you. Please be with us this Easter holidays. Please bless us and our families and help us to find times to celebrate too. Amen. Amen. God go with you.